marathon. You've got 66. You have Exxon. But what about Josh's thought here? I agree totally with him. And that's why we've leaned into the refiners. That's why I love they're, you. They're not. Yeah. <laughs> that's why that uh, four to five years it takes to build more refining capacity. And so right now it's we are constrained. And this in this market right now, you have crude oil elevating a bit. You have moonshots, really, with Marathon Petroleum, Fang, Phillips 66 setting record highs. Um, I've, I'm going to continue to lean into them. And, and as Josh's point as well, th- things can say overbought. And if you look at Marathon over the last year, it just consolidates for a little bit and then goes back up again. So I, I really love the space. And crude oil is in backwardation, which is very tight supply and high demand right now. Carrie, Liz, do you guys also want to agree with me? <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to agree with me first? I do agree no. on energy. I do. <laughs> All right. Um, work. I mean, You'll look, get it. There's, there's Wait for those low volume pullbacks. Wait for the downgrades on valuation or whatever nonsense. That's when you want to get excited. All right. Wait till the upgrade on valuation. Many of these banks, like Ooh, a Morningstar, like they're, they're going to, they're marking these companies, these, these oil stocks, to 60 and $70 oil. Imagine if we have oil above 80 for a longer period of time. They're going to raise that, which means higher cash flow. Let's talk about another commodity play um, that's done really, really well in a really short period of time. It's Southern Copper is up 36% in a month. You took some money off the table as a result of that move? I took a little off the table, yes. We this we started this position in December. We added to it in January on the show, added to it again a few weeks ago on the, on the end of February, early March. Um, just taking a little off the table. Our average price is in the 70s. We're up 50% on this thing. I still think that we are in a commodity super cycle or the start of it. And I think the Southern Copper is one of the best run mining companies in the, in the business. Tremendous free cash flow turning good, good positive ways. Just position management here, simple.